Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you assign a macro to a command button's events, whenever the specified event to which you attach the macro occurs, then the specified macro will run. If you wish a user to click a command button control in a form to run a macro, then you can just make sure that first you bring up the form in design view, and then make sure that the control wizards button is selected in the control toolbox, and then just click the command button control in the toolbox. Then click and drag over the area in the form where you wish to place the command button. The command button wizard will then launch, allowing the user to pick what text or picture to include on the button, and also what macro to attach to the button's click event. And this is a very quick and easy way to assign a macro to a button. So here I could, if I wanted it to run a macro, choose miscellaneous as the category, and under actions choose run macro. I could then click next, and here it asks what macro would we want to run. choose the name of the macro from the list, click Next. Do you want text or a picture? And if you want text, you can simply type in your own text there. Then click Next, and you can give the button a name if you'd prefer, and click Finish. Now you can also assign a macro to an object's event through the Properties dialog box. And we can also do it for objects other than command buttons. Almost every single object that you can insert into a form has some sort of event. It might even be like an image. So let's say I uh, select an image to insert into this form. And maybe I would like them to click or roll over the image with their mouse in order to run the macro. Alright. If you wanted to actually attach a macro by using the Properties dialog box, you'd first have to select the object to which you would like to attach the macro. Could be a button, could be any other object. Then just click the Properties button in the Database Toolbar, or right-click the object and choose Properties from the pop-up menu. And in the Properties dialog box, click the Event tab to view all of the available events for that particular type of selected object. So here with the image, I can click it, I can double click it, I could mouse down or mouse move or mouse up. So let's say if we click on it, and the click event is probably the most common event for which we program, you would then select what you would want it to do from the macros available. Now typically macros are assigned to the on-click event of a command button, which then runs the macro when someone clicks the button. But there are also other types of events to which you may find it useful to attach macros. For example, you might want a macro that runs when a user rolls the mouse pointer over the selected object instead of clicking. In this case, you'd program the macro to launch on the selected controls on mouse move event. So once you've determined the appropriate event to associate with a macro, you just select the property field and select the name of the macro you want to run from the drop-down list that appears, just like we did with the image. What we'll look at next are some of the most common events. And command buttons have several different events. We've got on enter, and that occurs when a control receives the focus from another control on the same form. We also have before update, that's usually on data fields, and that occurs before data in a control is updated, usually your form field. Also, after update occurs after data has been updated in a field. In 2003, you would also have on dirty, which occurs after the key press event, but before the change event 
in a form field, or on undo, which is also new for 2003. That occurs before changes to a field are undone. We've also got the on change event. That occurs when data in a control is changed. We also have on exit, which you can see the command button also has here. That occurs when a control loses the focus to another control on the same form. Similar to on exit and on enter is on got focus and on lost focus. On got focus occurs when a control gets the focus from just another form or control. It doesn't have to be on the same form like enter and exit do. On lost focus occurs when a control loses the focus to another control or form. We also have, of course, on click, which occurs when a user clicks the control. On double click, when a user double clicks the control. On mouse down occurs when a user holds the mouse button over a control and presses down. And the mouse move occurs when you move a mouse pointer over a control. On mouse up occurs when you release a mouse button over a control. Key down occurs when you press a key on your keyboard when the control is the focus. Key up occurs when you release a key when the control is the focus. And key press occurs when you press and release a key when the control is the focus. So you can even split hairs. And they do that, for example, when you do drag and drop. You click on some place, roll your mouse someplace else, and release it. So you have a different mouse down action than you do a mouse up action. And you can program your macros for any one of those events. So now that we've done that, let's see how it looks. Switching the form to the form view, note that I can click this button to run the custom sales report. And we also attach that to the click of the image. So if we click the image, that also should run the same custom sales report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.